I'm Dr. Ben Newman. Uh, this is Ask Dr. Ben, where I'm going to use my experience from 25 years of research and reading about coronaviruses to try to answer your questions. Um, next question is from, uh, let's see, Kenzie. All right, how you doing, Kenzie? Yeah, let's see. Hi, Dr. Ben. How's it going? Um, I received my first round of the COVID vaccine Moderna. Nice! Yeah, congratulations. All right, this is great. I was wondering if I have any protection after just this first round. Well, yeah, we can answer this in statistical terms. Yeah. So the thing with science is you can say, yeah, 90% of the time, this is what happens. But what you can't say is, in your individual case, I can guarantee you're in the 90%, not the 10%. <laughs> so that's the caveat here. Um, what we know is that for both of the mRNA vaccines, um, the Pfizer and the Moderna, they did tests where they looked at what is the effect. So um, after the first dose, how long is it? Um, so they would have people who got the vaccine or who didn't get the vaccine. And so they would both be getting the virus, even like the day after they got their vaccine or fake vaccine. But then at a certain point, the people that got the virus would no longer be getting, or the people that got the vaccine would no longer get the virus, and the people that didn't get the vaccine would just keep steadily picking up the virus just by living in the world. Yeah, it's um, uh, kind of a weird way to do an experiment, but uh, with a large enough group. Yeah, pretty good data. Anyway, um, what came out of both of those studies is that Within about two weeks of the first vaccination, it looks as though about 90% of people are going to be protected. Now, once again, we cannot say with definite, you know, intention, you individually are part of the 90%. There's a 90% chance, I guess, <laughs> that you are. But uh, yeah, that's, um, uh, that's where it is. Um, and so then the second dose, uh, when it comes along, will uh, boost people up. But in both of these studies, there were people that got both vaccines. And we're talking something like, I don't know, um, you know, 5% as many uh, maybe as the ones uh, that got the placebo. But still some who still did catch SARS-CoV-2 and got sick enough that they went and got tested. Because that's how the studies were set up. That um, it's only people that are basically self-reporting as I don't feel well would then get tested. And then they'd figure it out if they... Um, had the virus, and then if they did have the virus, were they in the group that got the placebo or in the group that got the um, actual vaccine? Yeah. So for a few people, yeah, the vaccine does not protect. Um, for most people, almost everybody, the vaccine does protect. Um, in certain cases, like um, there's a case in South Africa where they actually looked at when a person has had the vaccine but then got sick, which strain of the virus did they get? Most of it was the South African variant, um, or this thing that we call the South African variant. So it may depend on what strain you run into to some extent. But for the most part, yeah, everybody ought to get really good protection about two weeks after the first dose, and then that protection should only increase on the second dose, yeah. For whatever reason, um, you know, probably a lot to do with genetics. Uh, some people will see the vaccine and their immune system will basically just shrug, the, shrug his shoulders, metaphorical shoulders, and not really make enough of a response to uh, do anything. It happens. It's not great. And uh, yeah, that's why the, I don't think there's a vaccine that is 100% effective. Uh, but uh, these mRNA vaccines are the most effective ones that I can recall seeing in terms of the percentage of people that do seem to be get protected. So it's like better than a flu vaccine, yeah, in terms of protection, better than an anything vaccine, probably. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Um, let's see, and uh, let's see, the rest of the question, we might as well read it. Uh, obviously planning to get the second one, good, but I'm just curious if there have been any studies on this. Yeah. It was baked right into the um, phase three studies that actually led to approval for both of the vaccines. Um, this sort of, uh, yeah, when does protection kick in? I don't know that they planned it that way, but the data is presented in such a way that you can see it in there. So at some to some extent, I think it may not have been part of the plan, but it was something that they probably noticed and thought, you know, people will be interested and yeah, let's tell them. So there you go. That's it. 
Um, yeah, thank you very much. That's a very good question. And uh, congratulations on getting the vaccine. It's, um, it's hard. I know a lot of people who want the vaccine or who have a lot of conditions where you would say, wow, you ought to be yeah, at the front of the line to get the vaccine. It depends where you are, it depends who you know, it depends how loud you shout sometimes, and it's, um, yeah, still a little haphazard at uh, this stage about who gets it and who doesn't. But, yeah, for everybody else, I don't know, be patient. It's, it's got to be coming. It's got to be coming. Um, and, uh, yeah, until then, just stay safe, and thanks very much. This has been Ask Dr. Ben.